I remember when my heart oh, broke. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> That's when I one. gave up loving, loving you. Oh, that one hurts. Oh, love you. I was <laughs> sad and lonely. Yes. Welcome back to Hella Real 2020. I told y'all we're taking over. <laughs> <laughs> taking over the 2020. I did. I did say that. Hella Real taking over for the 2018 and 2020s. <laughs> but we're back. Rihanna's back. Hey, hey what's up? Wait, Welcome ma'am. back. <laughs> mm -hmm. We got some topics for you. Um, we are fresh and new for 2020. New hair. <laughs> Same <Wait>. hair. <laughs> I'm still looking wait, for like no. sponsors. <laughs> sponsor we sponsored Paula Bats. I'm cheap. Still <laughs> looking for you. <laughs> Man, but 2020, it's already been crazy. It's yeah. We've had like how many deaths so far? Obviously, the biggest yeah. one being Kobe yeah. and Gigi. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. to him and everyone else who was on the helicopter. Mm -hmm. Pop Smoke just got gone. Oh my God. Um, I know. The aunties. The two aunties that died yeah, on the, the same day. Yeah, the two aunties that died on the same I'm day. I'm sorry, yeah. I should know the names, but uh, <laughs> Jeanette Dubois. Esther. Esther. She was in You Got Come on. Yeah, she was in Granny You Got Help Sir. Us. Anyway, still rest in peace to both of them yeah. as well. We almost went to war with Iran. <laughs> Um, Trump got impeached. Um, coronavirus, y'all. That's still going on. That's Be still careful, y'all. Wash your hands. Yes. Yes, wash your hands. The um, Moms for Housing in Oakland. Yeah. Power to the people. Yeah. I hope they get whatever they want to get. I get they get a house, the apartment complex. Give them some. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people that need housing yeah. in the Bay. And the way the Bay Area is right now, you're not going to get anything. Yeah. I moved to LA. <laughs> so <laughs> tell you. But it's also just the beginning of the year, so there's yeah. still a lot of time to come back from all these tragedies. So that's true. Yeah, high hopes. Mm -hmm. Um there's the election. I was gonna say it's an Lit. election year. Oh yes. 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 It's a chance to vote. Please vote. Mm -hmm. Please vote, y'all. Oh my gosh. Register. <laughs> <laughs> Do all of that. Are you guys decided on a candidate? I haven't yet. You know, yeah. for something like that, you really have to do a lot of research. And I'm not really a political person, but, you know, when it comes to voting for the right president, you have to really research hard on who you want to vote for and vote for the right person. I'm sad Yang dropped out. I was like, Yang. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I you know, it's, it's getting close, yeah. so <laughs> they be dropping like flies, so. Mm -hmm. But he's still no, young, so he still has a lot no. of opportunity. I like him too. I like his yeah. ideas, but yeah, he's, he can run again. That's true. And now he's got a job on CNN, so you oh, get it, yeah. Yes. You get it. Come through these opportunities. You're blessed. Come on, how are you? Shoot. Yes. We'd love to have you. <laughs> well, on a brighter note, uh, so Celebrity Sun of uh, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, Zion Wade, mm -hmm. came out as transgendered, and it's so nice to see um, the love and support that they're giving them. Mm -hmm. Her, excuse me. <laughs> um, but a lot of celebrities are weighing and they have a lot to say publicly. Yeah. We all know Boosie got something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on, on that, on the uh, Boosie and his son, now we just learned. <laughs> you know, so, I'm not a parent, so it's hard for me to really, like, give my opinion on something on a child, yeah. you know? But I think right now, today, because we're, like, in a, like, accepting type of world right now where it's, like, when, especially when you're coming out. So when you're coming out, you know, it's just like you have to really accept that person. If you don't, then you're, like, canceled. So... I think for for Boosie in this case, because we all know that Boosie is Boosie, and you know he's <laughs> blunt to the core. I mean, we've seen him, you know. Yeah. And I think in that moment, you know, he had something to say, and you're allowed to have freedom of speech, but you have to take the consequences. You have to the yes. yes. And I just think that that's a very sensitive topic to really 
you know, mention, especially about someone's child. Yeah. I don't think he wouldn't like it if someone said something about we his know. child. Yeah, we know he wouldn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even if his baby mama said something about his child, he would have yeah. something to say. I think instead of just like going after Boozy and after other people that do think that way, just educate them. Yes. You know, instead of just canceling them. But, yeah, because no one's going to yeah. learn that way. At all. No. <laughs> well, we won't all grow together. Right. But I, I am a parent. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 12 years old is a very weird time. Yeah. I've had two 12-year-olds already. I got one coming up. And it's a hard time, just period. If you, you got hormones imagine. crazy, you got like all you feel like you're growing up and you feel like you're an adult, but you're hella not. Yeah. And you're making decisions very rashly. And you have all these things you think you want to do. And then two years later, you don't want to do them. Now, I'm not saying that's the case for him, but I'm just saying 12 year olds in general. They don't have their shit together. <laughs> like, uh, sixteen year olds don't have their shit together. But to me that yeah, they're, right. they're, they're, <laughs> they're bad at decision making. <laughs> especially around I mean they're like even psychologically, like it is your brain is not fully developed as far as decisions that you make. So that's why it's hard. It's like i it's good to be supportive, of course. Yeah, okay. And you you don't want uh, I think it was like Flame Monroe we were watching was mm -hmm. saying like the world is already going to be judging you and throwing shade at you and bullying you and saying fuck you like Boosie's son. <laughs> mm. So for you to come <laughs> home to that as well, that's like that's a recipe for disaster as far as like depression mm. and those things go because that those type of things happen at middle school ages too. Um, so. Acceptance is good, but I think I wouldn't let my child as a 12 year old make any permanent lifetime decisions. Like for example, if my daughter came to me and was like, she wanted to get her tubes tied at 12. You know mm. what I'm saying? She's like, I don't want to have kids. Is that possible? Yeah. Do they yeah, have your I'm sorry, it's a stupid question as a woman, especially. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have, we have tubes at 12? Yeah, I mean, tubes you when you're born. Period. Okay. But you have. I said that's stupid. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you got your period. I mean, I got my period at twelve. Okay. So okay. I mean, your period comes and maybe, maybe you're just like all of this in sex ed. <laughs> but I'm just saying that could be a decision that a twelve year old would make. That's like, well, I don't want to have kids ever. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, you're twelve. You have to help your children grow. Yeah. I think as a not I think as a parent. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah. Going back to like what celebrities coming out and their opinions on it, it just feels like like what Boosie was saying. He kept saying like, "Don't cut your dick off." I didn't hear nothing in what Gabby or Dwayne was saying was about him getting his dick cut off, and like or taking hormones or taking hormones. I I just all I heard was he wanted to be addressed as she, her, Zaya. You know, you're right though, because that doesn't really. Yeah. Sorry. Keep going. I no, 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 that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was my only, I'm like, are you guys listening? Yeah. I like, all I see was the support mm -hmm. and and being called Zaya now and she and her, that's not perfect. Like, if, if Zaya decided in two, three years, like, mm -hmm. you know what? I want to go back to Zion, you know? Would it be a problem? Because that's not really permanent. No. No. Yeah, so that, that, that was my issue with, like, people saying those things. Like, they didn't say anything about hormones. It could just be, like, the way he dresses. Yeah. Maybe that's why, you know, but... But th those things aren't permanent. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. with the nails. I think, I think Zaya look cute. Go ahead, girl. And he still looks cute, though. <laughs> I mean, like, but I think that's just, like, the main thing. Like, when it comes to your manhood, like, a lot of people are... Like, with Boosie, like, he just... That's the only thing he focused on was don't cut your dick off, you know? Um, <laughs> you know, don't, don't lose his manhood and everything. But, you know... I just think that just let kids be kids, one, sure. but, you know, at least support them. And, like, and I agree with what you're saying, too. Like, if they want to just kind of feel this way out and then get as when they're 18, then if they want to do that, then go ahead. And I also understand the, uh, the flip side of it is if you do permanently want to transition that, 
when you're about to hit puberty, mm -hmm. honestly, it's supposed to be like when you should. Is that the best time? I think so. I don't know. I don't. I mean, don't cancel me. I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't. We're just know. asking questions. Yeah, I don't, don't know, know, but I know the earlier you start, We're learning. Yeah, the yeah, earlier yeah. you start, you're not gonna get a beard. You're not right. gonna get, oh, yeah. you know, all the things that make you a man mm -hmm. let's talk about you said we're learning mm -hmm. actually and gabby actually said like she had to reach out to her to friends from, from pose from pose because yeah. she also didn't know how to like to well she didn't know what to say or what to do about mm -hmm. it just to just to be a little more educated on it what yeah. does what's the baby mama say i know that's a good Ooh. question Ooh. baby mama hit us <laughs> Drop a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on the Hella Real Show. Also, which one is the side baby? Uh, I need to know. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't that happen? Am I not? Yeah, that happened. Okay. <laughs> I'm mean, shit. We all remember. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just um, just accepting at that moment and learning. That's kind of the big picture from here. And plus, that's not your kid. Well, what other people yeah, gotta say. Let's just say if they didn't say this, but if they just they let him take hormones at twelve, it's still their kid, yeah. I mean, we could have our thoughts all we want, but that's again, that's not your kid. You know, it's their kid, right? I mean, if you want to like relate it to yourself, like if your kid, if you prefer your kid to be a basketball player, but they want to do ballet, and and you let them, and someone has an opinion on it, like you're mm -hmm. like, fuck you, that's my kid. Right. <laughs> so. right. But Dwayne Wade. Gabrielle, y'all are doing great, sweeties. Sweeties, yes. <laughs> y'all doing great. <laughs> Keep it up, Saya. All right, so this whole Kaylani and YG couple breakup <laughs> bullshit um, West Coast relationship. <laughs> West Coast relationship. The West Coast connection. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right LA. So how do you guys feel about their, you know, their relationship? And I know that Kaylani came out with a disc record. Well, she came out Valentine's Day mm -hmm. record, then the day right. after, she came out a disc record. No, no, no. They, came, they had a collab, a joint a love song. Collab. Okay, a joint song. Uh -huh. And then she came out with a disc record after. Yeah, like okay. the next Immediately, day. yeah. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> but I knew it was doomed from the get. <laughs> Damn. I knew it was doomed from the get. I, was, I thought they were so cute. I wanted they were them cute. to survive. They were cute. I wanted y'all to make it. Sure. I, mean, I was what? rooting for you. <laughs> But like, it was a lot when they first came out. It was like, it felt like when, and not in a good way, it felt like when Beyonce came out with her uh, self-titled album, mm -hmm. and it was like, boom, they're an item. And then you see them on the, you see it them on everywhere. the, it was everywhere, and yeah. everyone was into it. Everyone was so into their relationship, and I was like, this is not good, it's too much. It came out of nowhere too, we didn't see them dating. Was it too much because of YG? It was too much because they both just had babies that we knew oh, we knew they yeah. pup it was like literally like a month maybe two maybe no maybe I'll give it, I'll give it like four months maybe mm -hmm. but still they both had infants mm -hmm. so you think that I don't know like people who like hella put their relationship out there on social media in behind closed doors it's like not that great yeah it's showing the toxicity no I'm saying is that a theme yeah, I, it is a theme. Even the even the the reverse one, the opposite, is also a theme too. Mm -hmm. A little bit. What? If they're talking shit on social media? Yeah. You think they're fine in real life? I think it's like no, <laughs> no, 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 no. All of it, no. no. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, it's like all the way around type of thing, in a way. Like it's like too. Is this? Is this too? Like on the scale, it's just too yeah. much of this and that. Yeah. And you were saying Sana G and them was talking about. Well, that that's what I heard. And they were very careful. They were like, you know, we heard through the grapevine that YG got his baby mama pregnant. You be working at KML? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have me? <laughs> 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 she who, are, who said it in the grapevine? <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Who's the great buy? <laughs> Listen, Call DC babe? right now. <laughs> <laughs> but from what she was saying on the track, it did sound like oh, yeah. she was like, I That's hope you have the son you always wanted with yeah. that bitch. Hope you fuck around and have the son you wanted with the bitch. It was Woo! Like, Ooh, flame, fire. It got volcanic. I would, I would do an ad lib in there like, fuck, the, fuck that kid. <laughs> fuck fuck that baby. <laughs> And even right there, that's always like, and his son. And that's always something you always like worry about, especially when dealing with like 
with somebody and they have like a baby mama and it's or fresh baby, and it's fresh too at that like that stuff always happens so that's very relatable this to be honest well for me i thought because i was trying to tell kaylani like you know what through the tv screen i was like this is not good for you you guys <laughs> ever ever been in a relation or got in a relationship with somebody knowing you shouldn't like you know like or, or not even knowing but you have you know like oh this could be bad but you got this connection I mean, like, I have. I've ignored I red have. flags. Me too. <laughs> I was the queen of ignoring right. red Like, like yeah, if I go over your house and there's, like, still female stuff around, like, oh, well, well, yeah, she just moved out. Or, like, oh, you kind of lie to yourself. Yeah. Is it? No, 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 they lie to you, and then you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, he said that. Yeah, because you know, I'm gonna bring it up. Like, um, Ooh. why does it say queen on? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For example, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> but yeah, you ignore it, and then it all blows up in your face. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Yeah, I've been in situations where, like, I knew I shouldn't, I shouldn't be with that dude only because, like, there was no like precipitation. Like, I was putting a lot of effort, Ooh. but he wasn't giving any effort to me. But because you know the mm, was bomb, the, 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 the dick that would do that, you know <laughs> that that was bomb. that was back then though. <laughs> you know this is a new year. We're in 2020. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get me more attention than exactly. I have you. <laughs> you know I'm in a healthy relationship. It's right all about now. Business, you business. are. I'm in a healthy relationship. She's yes. in a healthy. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. My glass is empty. Hey. <laughs> but, Shout out to being in a healthy relationship. Yes. <laughs> but um, but but back then, yes. You know, I we. A lot of women dealt with that, and I feel like with men, I feel like they don't deal with that. They deal with that because I was gonna say I've been <laughs> in that situation. However, it's I realized it because I was like, he's treating me like I treat so and so. Ooh. Like I was like, I'm this nigga, I'm the one. And I'm like, right. that is so bullshit. Because there's been guys that have hit me up, and I never hit them up first. Mm. And it's like, and they still or they if I, yep, yep. I yep. If I, if I. I made plans with you, but another guy I'd rather hang out with. Oh, yeah. that's not oh, yeah. That's just yeah. dating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just but dating. still, that person still has feelings. They are the person. Oh. They're the ones who is getting less I attention. I just been like, look, sir, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but this ain't it. Yes. Okay. I have done that. I've done that. But too. that's the people I have like zero interest in. If I like you a little, no, you got you gonna I'm gonna stream. No, I think I think that's actually for for me, I'll say that to someone I actually like respect. Like I don't want you to waste your time. Mm-hmm. It's it's right. not that hard to be like but yeah, if I don't yeah. give a fuck about you, just go <laughs> and, and <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> it's yeah. just I, I could right. be doing so much better in that moment, but I, it's like instead I'm but sometimes it takes you mind, so. doing better to realize that's that. true yeah. yeah that's true fuck niggas <laughs> <laughs> like Kaylani said fuck all these niggas <laughs> maybe we're about to get a new breakup song yes well we did get that it was but it's too specific I want like an overall breakup yeah. song I know yeah, we're talking about like what's your favorite breakup song and we mentioned letting go by Keisha Cole what other that. breakup songs out there I remember Keisha Cole Oh, this is the whole discography. Yes. <laughs> the thirstiest ones, like Mariah's uh, My All. Oh. If you listen to her 90s breakup song, they're all so thirsty and hella desperate, but it's so <laughs> they're so good. Because it's something you'll never say out loud, because, right. you know, but it's... I like the, the breakup songs that's like, fuck everything about you. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. D-Lo. Like, you play oh. me, you bitch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> or anything by Trina. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 I think so. I don't know if you guys know this artist. Her name is uh, Kalila. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she had a song called Frontline, like probably a couple years ago, and that came out after I broke up with this guy, and I really liked him. Like I adored this nigga. I really <laughs> did. And then that song came out, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. And then that song came on Insecure. Issa was like throwing shit and like you know busting out like window at uh, the windows book like glass was in her it house. after uh which bay was this it was um oh her first dude uh, yeah. best buy best buy yeah best buy. Yeah. yeah okay and i and they're, and they're playing that song and i was like that's exactly how i feel you know <laughs> it's funny how songs can do that like they they come out at the time yeah like, even if you like hear what was that one thing it was like oh 
I, I think I'm just about over being your girlfriend. Oh, I'm yeah. Leaving. What song is this? Who, who sings this? Chrisette Michelle. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. I was like, KBLX. Like, that, <laughs> that one, I am yeah. like, it was just like perfect because it was just like, uh, that was my mood. It wasn't no like wild shit. It wasn't no like sad shit. I'm just like, I'm leaving. I'm over it. We're done. All right. So listen. So last year, I met somebody at the club, right? It's always at the club. Always. But, um, That's the downfall right there. I know. <laughs> so y'all should know. Dancing on me. And y'all should know. What is shit? <laughs> but, um, but the first thing you said was, you know, like, I want to get your number, but I'm in the middle of a divorce. And I was like, oh, okay. So, like, we kept talking a little bit, then, like, it just ended because, like, in my mind, I'm like, well, technically, you're still married. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. like for me as as you know as Brianna, I'm not gonna just continue to date someone that we're still married. It just doesn't feel right in my spirit. Have have this happened to y'all? Dating a married guy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's between dating a married guy and dating someone who's in a divorce. divorce. Yeah. Okay. No. So okay. So let me tell you. So I bet I got a <laughs> code. <laughs> I, I believed it. We would go to his apartment, we hang out, we go out, we go out, and then we go to his apartment and like, you know, Netflix and chill or whatever. Oh. And and then I would see like slowly there was like some like female things in his apartment. See, it's the female <laughs> thing in the apartment. What you see? You saw a pink razor, the Venus razor, or not even okay. there was a collage of like women? It, it seemed Were like you a, in the collage? No, it was. It seemed <laughs> like it seemed like my in my head was this must be his wife and her like friends and family. It was a very girly thing. I mean, it's a very girly thing to collage pictures, yeah, period, right? Yeah. And um and of course like, I was like young. I didn't I didn't want to like confront him about it. But he told me he was separated. But they were also newlyweds. That's another thing. Because oh, he also shit. mentioned that because he, he was open about his separation. He was like he got married. He's, he said he's embarrassed to tell like his friends and family because they just got married right I was like oh god damn that sounds crazy <laughs> but, <laughs> but then I saw like this collage and I didn't I was like I'm gonna just ignore it and I was like maybe I just didn't notice it before mm -hmm. like, I noticed it in his house this one time and then the next time I came over uh, I noticed there was a purse <laughs> that wasn't there before that's fresh yeah <laughs> it was fresh <laughs> so that I just kind of just stopped talking to him I didn't confront him about it I just stopped talking to him they're happily married with three kids now they had no kids at the time Girl, why can't we just be honest about yeah. who we're dealing with in that moment? Like, cause especially when you enter my life and you have all these like people that you're Cowards. dealing with or you're in Cowards. a relationship, why you just be honest with me? Cause you know I'm not that type of person. Maybe just they don't me. know you're that type of person. Yeah, I mean, well, just they got yeah, me fucked just up. Just <laughs> they got me fucked up. <laughs> so I have to say that dealing with someone about to get a divorce. That's how I got into my relationship now. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, my now husband was still married, technically married to his ex when we started dating. Yikes. But they lived in different states. Mm. So it was already like, oh, it would be a lot for you to be able to like get to get that old thing back like you, you're gonna have to take a flight it's gonna be a lot of effort yeah yeah and just he was very open and honest with me about it he was like hella nervous to tell me mm -hmm. <laughs> i was just like what you got a wife somewhere he was like <laughs> his, his face said it his face said yes. <laughs> yeah. he was like oh yes but it was all on the up and up. There was an actual divorce that happened. It's just when there's kids involved, well, a kid in this case, but mm -hmm. when there's kids involved and different states, because different states have different laws, mm -hmm. and there was a household, like there's a lot of shit. And then some states have rules where it's like you need to be separated for at least a year before you can officially get a divorce. That's a long ass time, like mm -hmm. to be like, if you end a lot of relationships 
are done before you actually get a divorce mm. because yeah. it, it's like you don't just like wake up and like I want a divorce yeah, let's, yeah, let's, final. yeah, yeah. and it was all happy the day before like, yeah, no yeah. there's a reason why you're getting a divorce mm -hmm. like you decided to be together forever right. and then you're not right. like a, stuff leads up to that yeah now I'm not saying everyone is my case so ladies if you out there and he's <laughs> no check the yeah, paperwork that's, that's, that's the only tricky thing though right it's like if, I mean if, if you believe that they say that they are married but we are in the process of you know or, or we're separated or whatever fine it's all it's all fine right but it's, 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 you still never know though no, no that's yeah, the thing the only yeah. issue is like they could be lying right and, <laughs> and, and in my issue. case like like I wanted to believe him, but at the same time I didn't, because you know niggas. And like, <laughs> you know, and I just in my in my mind I'm like, what if he's not married and like he just went like what if he's not in a divorce and like he was just saying that, you know? So mm -hmm. I was just bouncing back a lot of like thoughts and I was like, This is again, this is not for me, I'm not gonna do it. Like I'm so much better than that. So I actually I know someone, someone I'm really close to who is separated from her husband and I wonder if guys go through this, but like and, and she wants, you know, that connection. She wants to date and stuff like that. But, and I'm like, get on dating. And she's like, no, like, I, I'm still married. Like, she's so conscious about, like, if she is going to date someone, he's shaking his head. But she, <laughs> she was, she was just like, because not, because you don't tell everyone, like, we're separated. Because it's yeah. hard to tell, right? It's, you're yeah. embarrassed, your family, whatever. Yeah. But I think if you've moved out to another state, like, no, but your well, family's going to be like. Most people are in the same state. Let's just say, yeah. like, you know I, what I mean? Yeah, like, I have but I'm like, are, are, like, are, like, do guys think about that? Because she's like, she's like, I got to be hella careful. I can't have people see my profile because everyone, well, not everyone, but like, like, what if he sees it? There's also like some other legal shit, too involved but like do guys think about that kind of thing i don't even know i feel like guys are careful about side bitches <laughs> i think they do i think they are they some of them are so floppy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. some are very yeah. floppy but uh i think that they do at least consider it like because you know you're like especially if you start to like someone mm -hmm. then you're like yeah. fuck now i gotta tell them because maybe yeah. if you're just dating you're like who gives a fuck like i don't know where this is going mm -hmm. this could be just tonight this could be for a week and then she like, she might have her own thing. so don't make a profile on bumble <laughs> or tinder I think oh no i was so... talking about just dating like they don't well, care no, to it's, tell it's you it's not that she doesn't want to date it's just like she she was like hell of people can see my profile so you mean caring about what the other people think. other people other think yeah, oh, I mean, they're gonna Marcus be like, what the fan. fuck, she's married, you know, like, cause not every, she told, like, some close people. No. I, I wouldn't even care, I mean, as long as that, as long as you have a mutual understanding with the person, with your partner, mm -hmm. and they know what's going on, at okay. least, okay. then that's, that's, that's it right there. I really wouldn't yeah, care what other, what other people, people think. Say. Yeah, cause they don't, they don't, they don't understand what's going on anyway, still mm -hmm. understand, they'll have no business to understand anyway. Right, right, right. So. And why are you all in my dating profiles? Like, you want to date me? What? what, what? <laughs> right. She's just like worried right. about it. It's like some legal stuff, I, but we're not going to dive into that today. Well, yeah, if there is some legal issue, I shouldn't mean, even get, have one then if that's, if there isn't. Right, issue. right. Well, that would like, you can just get on Bumble. Or yeah, you just got to meet people in person if that's the case. If you've yeah. got like some kind of that, you don't want evidence. E exactly. People mm -hmm. brought up exactly. in court the evidence. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you are with someone who is in the process of a divorce just and don't make any commitments until the paperwork is final like don't move in and you know face, and make sure you facetime that paperwork <laughs> or be <laughs> there or it. it's gonna come in the mail they gonna get it <laughs> they gonna get served something like see something there is a make sure the process continues yeah. i don't want to keep hearing yeah you know yeah. Oh, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. oh well yeah 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 we're working on we're working on it like and mm, actually read it it too. will fit it will come to an end <laughs> And my husband's divorce came out on my birthday. Oh, Kirsten. happy birthday. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> that was just random. It just wow. happened. This Look is how the God. paperwork just got filed. And now I'm happily married with Aww. hella kids. Hella fucking kids. Hella kids. <laughs> okay, well, these are adult problems <laughs> that we weren't prepared for. Damn. No one told us about this. <laughs> like, Damn. spending money on shit. So... <laughs> Like the little oh. girl who wanted to have her birthday at Target. Like Target. Talk yeah. about adulting. Right. She was trying to adult for her birthday. Girl, don't. It's too early. Yeah. Let's go. Try to grow up. Such 
a rush to be having a job. It yes. sucks. Yes. <laughs> but she looks so happy. She I did. I would have gone to her birthday party. My I'm mom would have never went for that shit. She's like, she would have been like, you want some corporate thing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what the oh, your mom was a hippie. <laughs> even, no. even me, I'm like, you let the man take over your mind? Like, why do you want to go to Target? Like, who doesn't love Target though? I mean, as a little for a little kid, you don't think about that stuff. You're just like, I love Target. They got no. everything. When I was cute, so her mom came into Target and she asked the manager, you know, I want to have my baby's birthday party here. And they all gave her and all her little friends some uniforms, the name tags, and they all were given gift cards of a certain amount. And they, you know, purchased she what them they out. Wanted. Yeah, she checked them out. It was so cute. And they it was had a cute. Target cake and everything. But again, that's just a very thoughtful birthday party. Like, I. Don't get me wrong, I love a theme. Yeah, but <laughs> that Barbie. was a theme. <laughs> Girl. So if you guys would have an unconventional birthday party, how would you have a birthday party? The norm. Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon? Yes, we all go on hot air balloon rides. Like, oh, everybody? Yeah, like, everybody up there. We're like, I see all like at the, the bottom. Big ass I ain't getting it. No, though. like everybody. Oh, oh everyone on a hot air balloon. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. And then the like, people like, cheers! Right. Oh. I took over there. the whole sky, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> then when we land, I can have all the themed out stuff. Well, I'll see y'all at the bottom, because I ain't getting no damn hot air balloon. It's an extreme sport that I'm not signing up for. <laughs> like, my feet on the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe, like, if I can turn, like, an area into, like, have y'all seen Crooklyn? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. Right? yeah. So if I wanted to like turn like a certain area into that, and we all dress up in that way, that would be fun. And then like we all go into like a club, and it's Ooh. all just that that era and that theme period. Oh my god, I would have the time of my life. Like something Chris that I Chrissy want Teigen for the day. did that for her birthday a couple years ago. On the pan, mm -hmm. she had like a Pan Am theme. Oh, that's mm -hmm. cute. Remember that? You see that? But the whole like party it. was on a on a plane. Oh. It didn't go nowhere, but like it was like everyone they have was that dressed in like in New York, where it's like it's set up like the old terminal and oh. everything. Mm -hmm. It actually it's yeah. a hotel. I think it's a hotel. Oh, I would have mine at a laundromat. Let me explain. <laughs> mat. Let me explain. Because no one likes to do laundry, right? No. No. So like rent out a whole laundry mat. That's my idea. Let, rent it out it's on me. Bring your laundry because mm -hmm. it takes about what an hour to wash your clothes, maybe forty-five to an hour. Depends on how many clothes. I got a lot of fucking clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, clothes. like I'm not saying just me. I mean, like my whole family. Bring like, a load that's or like two. two. Loads a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a laundry mat, so bring a load or two. And like in that time, because it'd be a little boring when you bring, when you go there by yourself. And we could like turn up while our clothes are. We're gonna make it fun. We're gonna make this adulting thing fun, just and like I the young ladies did. Like, I feel like we were gonna forget their clothes in the laundry. I thought you were gonna say get the laundry mat people to do our laundry for us. No, we're not doing our own laundry to do, do my own laundry. You know, people we're gonna leave it in the wash. They have their laundry on the side. We're gonna dance floor. We're gonna dance. Like I want to bring my laundry, give it to the people, turn up, and then take it when I leave. No, we're making adulting fun. So we're doing our own laundry. <laughs> I'm paying for it. That, there, there's the, uh, and it's my birthday. This is what I want to do. That's like when your friends make you go do yoga on your birthday. It's kind of kind of the same thing. <laughs> people be doing that shit. No, it, it would be nice, especially if you had like a service people doing it for you. Yeah, like, see, that's what I'm and, saying. And then, like, because again, you're going to be too drunk. So it's like they can take out your clothes and then put okay. in a car for you. Fine. Yeah, they can we'll add that service. service. Yeah. We'll add that. So we'll just be having a party at the laundry. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to actually do laundry. And be like, see, wasn't this fun? <laughs> Again, as long as someone did, did my laundry, I'll be fine. For my you know? 40th, you guys be ready. But yeah, I, I would like to have like a thoughtful birthday party. I really haven't really had a, had a thoughtful birthday party as I think about it. Like a, like a theme, like a good Yeah, mood. like it's all been kind of like the same or Dinner. I went out of town, you know. Like yeah. birthday thing to just like turn up, whatever. Yeah. 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 I think, but it's like turning up kind of like gets boring. It does. In a way. So you kind of like, just want to like, different. you kind of just want to slow down right? as you yeah. get older. Like, every birthday, and it's like, fun to have a theme because like you have to, everyone has to dress up. Maybe that's why on The Real Housewives everyone always has a theme because yeah. they're older, right? Yeah, right. They're older and they got money too. That's what I think I think about. Yeah, that's true. It costs. It does it cost. Costs. To have it, a it takes a lot of patience too. Like I will probably have someone else probably set up that whole that's, yeah they have party, party planners and you know, shit like I, that I, I whoever's do that. doing the kardashian parties <laughs> no i need their number <laughs> yeah, for right. when i get there because they be having parties <laughs> right 
like the uh, London parties. What's their? I know it's not them. They they hire Stormy people. World yeah. or yes. whatever. I'm like, or that dinosaur one they yes. had for their yeah. son. I was yeah. like, I, I need that. I need the card. We're gonna need that one day. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's a good place to wrap <laughs> it up. Yeah, I gotta pee. We gotta so have we'll a, it up. Oh. We gotta have a hella real. <laughs> I'm done with my journey. Look, I gotta pee, y'all. <laughs> we gotta have a hella real theme party one of these days. Yeah. Y'all yeah. come out. Yeah. Anniversary party. Until then, everyone, keep it hella real. Yes. And catch us on our next event, episode, whatever. Just stay tuned. Subscribe. subscribe. Tell your friends mm -hmm. to subscribe. Please drop do. a comment. Always do that. <laughs> we do respond, you know. And follow Brihana. T tell them again, in case they forgot. No. She be on no. the radio, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you know my IG is uh is Breeze Delight B wait B R E E Z Delight. I'm not gonna spell all that out because you know it's we'll put we'll do it for you. Thank you. It's right you here. Know. Um, <laughs> but I do be on Wellesley's Cameo Street Soldiers on Sunday nights, 8 to 10 p.m. in the Bay being Area. Being woke, you know, being woke exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, check me out. <laughs> Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>